Christopher Schomer um, in the uh, heavyweight slash light heavyweight division, generally uh, fighting between 205 or 215, whichever is that, uh, whatever is clever. My next opponent is the wonderful, wild and wonderful Robert Kapow Paleo. Um, he will be an interesting opponent, one of my first stand-up guys facing. Kapow sums it up right there. I know a lot about him based on what I talked to him about. Um, in a person-to-person -person setting, sometimes on Facebook we fool around. He's a heck of a brawler, and you gotta like a guy like that. Well, um, I was born in 1980. Okay, we'll skip forward a few years. Went to the Marine Corps when I was right out of high school. Um, when I was finished with that, I ended up uh, going back home for a summer, helping Dad out, and then I came out here to play college baseball. Um, I went as far as I could go with that, and then ended up kind of bouncing around for a little bit. Uh, doing different finance jobs, training all the while still, but I never really got into MMA until about 2007 when my friends put me up to a tryout, which was basically just a six-minute fight, and uh, it was by an organization that I don't even think is around anymore, but that's what got me signed and got me in and serious again. For sure, uh, in the time when I was in the Marine Corps, um, the sport was evolving, but so was the Marine Corps um, system of uh, basically hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was compliance techniques. Um, basically, the beginning of the white belt level of jiu-jitsu is what we were exposed to at the time in the Marine Corps. So yes, it was a transition. I mean, it's as hard as anything else was jumping from one level to the next. The fact that I fight for an organization that uh, likes to put us up there on the big show, um, hires all the right people, uh, I love to just do my best out there in a cage, make sure that uh, everyone gets what they pay for. The sport's potential for growth. Um, with MMA, the sky's the limit, and that's been proven already. Dana White and Zufa, um, a lot of other organizations out there. Um, for someone to make it and be successful on that level in MMA, um, it's a full-time job. Um, not just, it's like, it's almost like two full-time jobs. We were talking about the ground training that I put in, plus the striking training, wrestling, um, plus having separate real jobs. Um, you have to be a complete person, you have to pay attention to all of your, everything in your life to make everything else work and come together in the end. Um, I really love MMA because it pushes me and challenges me more than anything I've ever had. Some of my training will be done at home with my home team, Tomasilli Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, Mike's putting on his uh, first degree black belt, or getting his first stripe here this month. I've been with him for three years. He's a 260 pound, we'll, we'll be all right, 260 pound, we'll be nice to him. Uh, black belt out, out of Joe Marrera, and he's second to none in my opinion. Well, I got the nickname, it kind of evolved. Um, everyone in our school has a nickname. I've named some of our guys. Mike's named some of them. Um, I started out with Mike pretty much uh, us two together, training almost every day, and uh, I used to weigh a lot more than I was about 165 at the most, so um, I would train as hard as I could, I was sweating my ass off, um, the mats were all wet so he'd call me the water buffalo, and as months and months went along and I got better and I lost more weight and I became leaner, um, it just evolved into buffalo, that was it. It means to me uh, to overcome obstacles, to challenge myself to see how far I can go, um, what I can do when I get there, whose lives I can change, and was, uh, whose arms and bones I can break. No, just joking. First of all, I was definitely ill, um, but I pushed through it, and good thing it didn't go three rounds. Uh, but anyway, it was just, it was awesome to walk onto that, s down the stage, down the ramp, into the cage, um, the lights all on you. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Uh, Bama puts on an amazing event, awesome shows, great fighters, great fights. Again, glad to be part of it. Uh, Bam and I, uh, we probably have one of the more solid relationships I believe out there in any organization. Um, I'm really close with uh, Brett Roberts. Um, we kind of got off to a rocky start with the problem when we didn't have an opponent for me and I sold like thousands of dollars worth of tickets. But we, we persevered, we, we made level on that, um, and we've had two successful fights after that. So it's onward and upward and I love this place. Thanks for having me. I think what separates me is the time I put in on the ground. Um, and then, you know, I also am separated from a lot of guys by the time um, I haven't put in standing up. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, although every fight starts standing, um, most of them end up on the ground.
Okay, and uh, win in Vegas, play the odds. It's great, you know. I mean, I like the Angels too, but they're, in my opinion, no Colorado, that's for sure. I wish we could have got uh, old Pujols, but hats off to you. You get Pujols. I'll get this fight. Ha. Biggest inspiration, uh, everyone says the standards, you know, God, Jesus, Mom, family, Dad. Those are all there for me. Um, reading up a lot on this football season with the Denver Broncos, as I'm a fan, um, I've become a fan of Tim Tebow, too. I've jumped on that bandwagon. Uh, love him or hate him, he finds a way to get it done every week. Um, and I know eventually he'll lose, so will the Broncos, and who knows wh where they'll go. But I really love the way he carries himself. Uh, I like the way he lives his life. Most, I'd like to thank Greg Tuthill, um, Robin Charlotte, and the rest of the guys at Stoffma, Star Off Machine, a very awesome band, coming out with a new record here soon. Obviously, Tomaselli, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and MMA, Costa Mesa, uh, Slep Fightwear for the awesome fightwear, and 29 Times sent me some good uh, shirts this fight too. So thank you to all of them. Robert and I, we train hard as we can. We push it to the max. We try to recover and do it all again the next day. Let's see uh, how healthy we can both stay this time, my man, and uh, thanks for the dog food. For the Buffalo Showmer, come and watch me fight January 13th, 2012 at Bad Beat 4, Commerce Casino against Robert Palio, and let's see who can beat the other one up the most.